Hello and welcome. My name's Heather and this is a mini workshop or mini class focusing on the heart. So we're going to talk a bit about the heart from an energetic and psychological perspective and then have a bit of a moment to connect. Head onto your mat, find some ways to move into that heart space and then receive something called the cycle of attunement. And that's a way that we can be aware of the sensations in our heart and also notice just how far we can sense out of this space. Okay, so get settled. Find a comfortable way to sit. You might sit cross-legged, your legs might be straight in front of you. <sighs> And just start to settle into this feeling of your heart. Without thinking about it, maybe a word comes to mind, something that you associate with the heart. You might say those words out loud. Some that often come up are love, feeling, connection, receiving, giving, um, a pump, something we don't think about that's working on our behalf. So there's lots of different ways that you can think of your heart or imagine it. Some of the attributes uh, from a chakra perspective for this center are that idea of giving and receiving and a way that we take in information from the world. So the entire chakra system is really a way that we understand the world around us. And in the heart in particular, it's a place of transformation. So I'm doing this because the heart is represented by a right side up triangle and an upside down triangle superimposed upon one another. So it looks like a six pointed star. And that means all of the information that's coming up from below, from information we take in through our legs, our belly, our guts, is starting to move its way up to be interpreted by these other parts of ourselves. At the same time, all of the information we might take in from up here, other information coming in from places, source, your own mind, are also starting to filter down through this center into your body. So the body is a really important tool and mechanism to understanding ourselves and the world around us. This information comes in as sensation. So with the heart, if you think about it, you might feel energy come into your heart when you have an exchange with another person, a conversation, passing them on the street, anything like that. And you might start to feel something that you either really like or really don't like. And then over time, these patterns build in the heart to a point where you or I might start to physically hold ourselves differently. So maybe we start to curl around the heart a little bit and protect it. Maybe we're in a state of grief and this is totally where we need to be with the heart sort of held. Maybe we go the other way and we open up a lot and maybe maybe too much and maybe we start to give away a lot of ourselves. So this balancing of the heart center to a place that's right in alignment with our true nature, supported from all of this foundation of the body below, so that that information in exchange can go up and down through this place. Uh, the heart is also an electromagnetic field. So you might feel sensations up to 13 feet, maybe more out from this space. And then it's up to us to do the work of interpreting that information or just being with it, being present. So let's start exploring. We'll stop talking, start exploring. So again, you might change the crossing of your legs if they're crossed. Give yourself a nice big squish up and sigh out. Another deep breath in. 
and release. You can let the eyes float closed if that feels okay, or the gaze can be down towards the ground. And just here, see if you can align your heart over top of your hips. Shoulders can go up and back and down. Soften the fingers, soften the jaw. And start to feel into your breath. And as you feel into your breath today, notice how your body moves around the breath. And then bring your awareness into your heart center. Bring your mind to touch the front of your heart, the back of your heart, the sides. And start to notice any sensations that are moving across the screen of your heart right now. And you don't need to try to figure them out. No labels. Just feel that raw sensation move. And start to imagine or see your heart fill with a green color. Maybe it's a light. Maybe you're painting it green. The color green helps balance this center. And if no color comes, that's okay. Just focus on the sensations there. And you can start to bring your chin down to your chest. Take a few breaths into the back of your neck. Blink the eyes open. Roll the head back up. So we'll head to the mat. Start to get into the body to access this heart space, this balancing of the heart. So come into a child's pose when you arrive on your mat. I'll meet you there. So taking your seat to your heels, let your arms be extended out in front of you. If your forehead can't reach the mat, you can place a stack of books or a block underneath it or your hands stacked. And just take a few breaths here. And as you're here in your child's pose, bring your awareness to the back of your heart. And see if you can feel the back of your heart space. Notice the breath accessing there or not. When you feel ready to start to move, you're gonna inhale, come forward and up through your forearms all the way to straight-ish arms, finding a cow. So shoulder blades go towards one another, back of the neck stays nice and long. You can make little claw hands with your fingertips in the mat. Then exhale, rounding the back, rounding the belly, taking yourself back towards a child's pose. Inhaling again, up and forward. Exhaling, belly towards the spine, rounding back. And see if you can have the movement match the breath. So inhaling forward and up. Exhaling around and back. And just 
just one more. And then pause, resting in your child's pose. You can sigh out. And walk your knees in a little bit more closely underneath you. And this time when you breathe in, you'll press the tops of the feet into the mat. Inhale, engaging your belly, coming to rise up, standing on your knees, fingertips pointing straight up. See if you can tuck your rib cage in. Exhale, belly back towards the spine, slowly, carefully, all the way back down. Inhaling that foundation of the toes, pressing down, inhaling up. Arms can be by your ears, shoulders back down the spine. Exhaling back down. And a couple more of these on your own. Again, moving with your own breath. Next time you come towards the ground, come to your child's pose. This time the arms can come behind you. Take a few breaths here, rounding the shoulders, getting into that back body, back of the heart. And let out a sigh. From here, when you're ready, you're going to inhale, come up to sit. Hands will flip over behind you, maybe up on fingertips. You might go right here. You might start to inhale further, opening up the front body, lifting yourself up, being mindful of neck. Exhale, back down. Inhaling up and back. Exhale, back down. And even here, supporting the heart through the foundation beneath you. So lengthening the tailbone, we're not going to crunch in the low back, nice space there. Supporting your head. One more. So we're opening up all aspects of the heart through these movements. You can rest in your child's pose now. Let out a sigh. Arms can stretch out again in front of you. And let's inhale, come back up, this time to all fours. See if you have some movement back and forth you want to make. Maybe you come up on your fingertips, round the back a few times. You can tuck the toes under. Lift up the knees, take yourself back down, we're facing dog. And today let's really, really bend the knees and you can start to make those claw hands with your fingers and press the arms back. Scoop your shoulders towards one another and see if the belly can even meet maybe the thighs. Nice long spine, shake out the head and sigh out. Give yourself a smile. In your own way, you're going to come forward maybe to a plank. Maybe you walk your feet back a bit. Maybe all fours. Maybe you're in a plank, shoulders right over top of the wrist. And you can bring your knees to the ground. Elbows go straight back and you can come all the way down. Let your forehead rest. See if your hands can come right beside your chest. Again, elbows straight back. Inhale, press down through the feet. Engage up through your belly. Lifting up the chest. A few breaths here. Nice long back of the neck. Exhale, back down. 
Inhale, rising up. Exhale, back down. And one more. This time when you come up, see if you can stay open for a few breaths. And imagine your collarbones are your nostrils, so you're breathing into the heart. And then resting down. You can tuck your toes under and come back either into a child's pose, downward facing dog, anything that feels good for your body. If you have a lot of energy you want to move through, you might even come into that down dog, pivot up on your toes forward into a plank, do that a few times. Maybe you come down to the ground again, open up the heart. If you're feeling a bit more like you need energy, you're feeling a bit depleted today, stay in your child's pose, take a few breaths there. Wherever you are, checking in with the heart, just seeing how it feels to be moving, or staying where you are, trusting in this guidance. And when you're ready, you can start to come onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. And roll yourself from side to side. You can let the feet touch down on the ground now. Knees bent. Right ankle can come across the left knee. And gently pressing that thigh away from you. You might stay here. That might feel great. You might start to take your hands behind your left thigh, press your right thigh away with your elbow. Again, a few breaths. Releasing down, making sure both feet touch the ground and then changing to the other side. So left ankle across the right thigh. See if the shoulders can rest down. You might stay here, pressing the left thigh away. Or you might bring up the right knee towards you, interlacing your fingers behind your hamstring, pressing the left thigh away. And releasing when you're ready. Keeping the feet on the ground, just inhaling the arms up overhead. Exhale all the way down. And see if the movement can match the breath. So as you inhale, hands come up overhead, back of the hands touch the ground. Exhale, hands reach down, palms touch. You might pause in between the breaths. And if you'd like to, the next time your arms come up overhead, you might lift up the hips, lengthening the tailbone, releasing the butt, exhaling back down. You might do that a couple times. So again, pressing down through a foundation to find movement in the heart. One more. And gather the legs back up. Rock yourself from side to side. Maybe find a happy baby holding onto the outer edges of your feet, opening up the hips a bit. And then in your own way, in your own time, you come back up 
to sit. Finding a seated position that feels comfortable. Letting out a sigh. Let your eyes float closed. If that's not comfortable for you, just let that gaze be down towards the ground. Return your awareness to your breath. And then bring your attention or your awareness to the outer layer of your body, your skin. Feel the air as it touches your skin. Going inward, feeling into the fluid body. Bring your awareness to your spine and see your spine as a beam of light. Coming into your heart center, bring your awareness there. And notice any sensations moving across the screen of your heart. Stay with those sensations. Keep returning back to being in your heart. From this heart space, beginning to see what you can sense around you, sensing from the heart around the room. starting to sense outside of the room you're in, maybe onto the street or the land around you. Sensing further into the neighborhood or town, the city. And imagine or find a place where you can see the horizon line. See the horizon line. You can sit on the ground and feel the ground beneath you. Stay with your heart. Notice how you feel without a right way to feel. As you leave the horizon, sensing the entire city or neighborhood or town, the street or land around you. The room you're in. Feel the sensations inside your own heart. See your spine as a beam of light. The 
feel your fluid body. The outer layer of your body, your skin. You feel the air touching your skin. Returning to your heart. And see if you could feel or notice your individual spirit residing there. Is there something your heart or your spirit needs? Ask it now. Receive the answer. Start to bring your hands to meet at your heart. And thank yourself for practicing and connecting today. Namaste.